Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. Dennis has the night off. New information for you at this hour about a report we first brought you earlier. Parents waking up this morning to shocking messages on an app they trust to communicate with their kids' teachers. Seth Kaplan joins us with the update. Seth. Alicia, we're talking about an app called Seesaw. Some parents can't believe they've seen what they saw and that new information you promised. Whoever hacked some Seesaw accounts wasn't acting alone. It said that there was a picture on Seesaw that they had to shut it down for. Nicole Whitmire among the fortunate majority of parents who got a message from her child's school district about the message, but not the highly sexually explicit message itself. Something like this happens, then obviously they need to do something about it. South Middleton School District in her case, which sent parents this message, nearly identical to this one from Northern York and this one from Cumberland Valley and countless others across the country. Cumberland Valley saying, quote, our initial investigation revealed that an individual gained unauthorized access to several Seesaw accounts and used those accounts to send an inappropriate image through the platform to some of our staff. In some cases, the image was sent to a group of parents. We are not aware of the image being shared with any student accounts. Like other districts emphasizing what happened wasn't a breach of the school district system, but was an issue with Seesaw. Seesaw now tells us, quote, after further investigation, it appears specific user accounts were compromised as a result of a coordinated attempt to guess user account passwords, sometimes known as a credential stuffing attack. In a credential stuffing attack, publicly available compromised emails and passwords that are reused across services are used to gain access to Seesaw accounts. In other words, hackers found passwords people were using on other sites and guessed they might use the same passwords on Seesaw. Seesaw itself, the company says, wasn't hacked, but it, quote, proactively reset the passwords of all accounts we know to have been compromised and have notified impacted users already. We've also adjusted our detection and blocking rules to ensure similar attacks are prevented in the future. It lets parents to know kind of to like be on your toes just with everything. Always true with websites and apps. The difference here is we're talking about an app that school districts provide to their staff, parents and students. Where you're supposed to be able to communicate and have communication with teachers about your kids daily life. Daily lives seesaw and schools say are getting back to normal. Meanwhile, if you think about how the attacks seem to happen, Alicia, this is a good reminder that even if using the same passwords on lots of sites and apps is convenient, it does carry this risk. All right, Seth, thank you so much.